Jim, thanks. The toll plazas that Massachusetts drivers have been stopping at for decades will soon be history. Electronic tolling has now begun here in the Bay State. Mass DOT now says all existing toll plazas along the Mass Pike are now set up with temporary lane assignments. And all that work began last night. Jonte Lance has the details of this developing story, and she's live for us in Weston. And Katie and Ken, demolition continues into the night here at the Western Tolls. This is all part of permanently eliminating cash toll booths. The demolition has begun. The new all-electronic toll, or AET system, went live Friday night, officially eliminating cash toll booths on the Mass Pike. Traffic across the state now to a brief crawl. And amid it all, MassDOT Saturday delivers good news. Some folks might think surprising is we're actually ahead of schedule. I'm extremely proud of the work that the, the MassDOT, our contractors, working with our colleagues in public safety has accomplished last night. Uh, but again, I am happy to report that we are ahead of schedule. So we wanted to take a look at traffic for ourselves. We're about to enter the Sumner Tunnel, connecting from East Boston to Boston. And you can see toll demo in progress. No stopping at Booth. So it seems some people may be a little confused. You saw the toll booths were covered in black. The signals were also covered in black. Traffic was a little confused, a little bit at a crawl. But MassDOT officials say it will be much worse on Monday. Monday's the Super Bowl. So this is, um, especially these last two weeks, right? You know, it really did feel like Monday is our game time. MassDOT and state police are asking drivers not to stop at the toll booths, obey the 15 mile an hour limit, and stay in your lane. This weekend, MassDOT set up nine live Easy Pass sign up locations. We talked to two new customers in East Boston. <laughs> oh, I'm really happy for that. Yes. Yeah. I think it's a good idea, really? to be honest with you. Yeah. Why? Because it's going to be no line. Yeah. We're just going to go through. And if you need information on the toll changes, just head to MassDOT's new website, easydrivema.com. Now, so far, state police say there have been no incidents at any of the tolls. Live in Weston, Shante Lands, WBC News. And Mass DOT is offering a grace period for drivers without Easy Pass transponders. State highway officials say drivers who order a transponder after getting their first bill will receive a credit for extra charges on their new Easy Pass account. That grace period is in effect for the first six months. And the organization is warning that Monday's commute could be a difficult one, so make sure you watch WBZ this morning at 4 o'clock. Traffic reporter Brianna Pitts will be live in Sky I-4 beginning at 4.30 on Monday morning.